بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى وسلم على رسول سلم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم السلام عليكم أبيوان سبحان الله عز وجل a lot of our brother Muhammad what he mentioned like what a blessing to be here what a blessing that we have the ability to to come on weekly basis and do the maulid and I was thinking like all this didn't come from nowhere all this came from a lot of sacrifice not sacrifice of this generations no sacrifice from Sayyidina Ibrahim time Sayyidina, Sayyidina Muhammad was a da'wah of Sayyidina Ibrahim and how this deen came through sacrifice generation over generation to be able to be living in Makanji and having a well with on a weekly basis and this is for a lot of people in Arab countries like they tell me like mashallah what you doing in America I said alhamdulillah we have a weekly maulid and they're so surprised like how this could be there in a land like America alhamdulillah so I will just mention uh, uh, one story just came on my mind um, a couple of days ago about Sheikh Sharawi. If anyone familiar with him, he's one of the. Is I would say like he was the best mufassir in the last century, and I will mention a story about his like how his dad sacrificed for him, and how and I would like to mention a story like close to us, not like far away, because sometimes when you hear about stories far away, ah, this is mashallah. This is another people. No, this man was a hundred years ago. So the story of Imam uh, Sheikh Sharaw rahmahullah, that when he finished high school, he just wanted to stay in the farm and be a farmer. Then his dad was trying to push him. You have to go to Azhar to study there. Then his, his dad, he got kind of pushed back. No, dad, I want to be farm with you the land. We have one acre, we have to cover the land. He said, no, you have to go. To the Azhar. See, this is the people in the back pushing them to go to Azhar. So he went back to Azhar. He went his first year. Said, no, I will not give up. I will try to do a trick. So I will make my dad pull me out of the school. So he went to the library. And he said, listen, tomorrow I'm going to bring my dad. And the owner of the library told him, listen, tell him that all these books, he's going to buy it for year one. So when my dad see this, how much would be the, the cost of the books? He's going to change his mind. Then he won the second day. He said, okay, what we have for this year? He said, oh, this books and this books and this books and this books. Very expensive. He's very poor and from poor family. Then he said that he said, okay, wait a couple of weeks. I will try to find a way. And this man, he owns only one acre. That's what he owned his life. Not like 10 acres. He go back to his far, to his upper Egypt, sell sell his only acre he has, and he go to the library, bring his son, son take the money, and then Sheikh Sharawi he was young at the time like oh my God he's gonna study all these books. Then he bought all the books. Then by the station when he's leaving to the upper Egypt, he said, Oh son, in Egypt he said, Don't think I am not smart. Anyways, Allah benefit you from these books. For this sacrifice, he sold his own land. The only thing he owned his life. And now who is Sheikh Sharawi? The best mufassir in the last century. So this thing came from sacrifice. This thing didn't come like everyone sitting in his comfort zone and everyone sitting, okay, I'm sitting in air condition. I don't want to do anything inconvenient. Usually things inconvenient is the thing you have to do. Don't ask for troubles because Rasulullah said, Let don't wish troubles and wish to meet the enemy. But at the same time, whatever Allah put you to put something, you have to do it. And uh, another story came in my mind, the story of Suhaib al-Rumi. One of the companions who immigrated from Mecca to Medina. 
and he was he has a lot of gold and people in Quraysh try to steal them uh, he said like okay if you give us the gold we'll let you go to Medina and immigrate then he gave all his money there and went to Medina even the people in their way said like come on you, 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 you spending all your money for what and when he arrived in Medina all the Sahaba was waiting for him saying Ya Suhaib, Allah revealed the Quran for you. He sell himself for Allah. So, subhanAllah, that's really, this deen came from sacrifice, deen came from being in a comfort zone. And in my last visit to Medina, the last Ramadan, when I went there, I said, Ya Rasulullah Sallam, how many sacrifices you did? How many people did sacrifice from the companions how, till this deen reached us to, to, to us like this now? Very clean, very pure. We know what is wrong when it was right. But this deen just came from a lot of sacrifice. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to try to pave the road to the people after us. With whatever you can do, you can do something you think is very small, but like, Sheikh Shara with that, like he just sold his acre. Now we mention him in like 100 years after his story. You never know what is really the fact he's coming from. And the message that the father of Sheikh Shara would give to his son, better than a lot of speeches that we can all give. So we have to think also like what messages we're giving to our kids. This message, to give it his dad, that he's going to give it to Sheikh Shara with that. There's no way in, in your life except seeking knowledge. This is the only thing. So we have to think about ourselves. What the message I'm giving to my kids all the day. I can give them a lot of speeches. Yeah, you have to do that. You have to do this. But when the time for Quran comes, tell them, no, 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 we have to visit other family or have to do this like uh, exercise or just forget about it. So what the message they're getting here? So we ask Allah wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq and make us from the people who paved the road for the people after us and make us among the righteous. And we ask Allah wa ta'ala to accept all our prayers. Wa'alaikum inshaAllah.